All right, guys, so once you have the file, there's two sets of USB. So that's system um, update files, and that's your MCU and CAN bus update and the CAN bus APK. So just plug it into your um, USB port. And then after you plug it into the USB port, just to make sure that we're on the correct side, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we just go to ES files. We just open up the USB. And as you can see, there's a few files in the same one. So that's our um, MCU update, Canvas update, and the um, BAS APK. So we just install the BAS APK, install, install, and open, and Canvas update. I will just show you a progress bar. And as you can see, it's keep going up. And once it reaches to 100%, it will give you a success message. So once you see the message that says um, Canvas being updated successfully, then you know it's being done. Here we go. So update successful time, blah, blah, blah. So just press OK. Press back, 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 back. So that's done. The Canvas update is finished. Now we just go to the settings. Go scroll down, car settings. And we just do MCU update. Tap that, USB 1, tap OK, and we'll just start loading. Once it reaches to 100%, it will reboot the system by itself. So that's how you know it's successfully done. That's 100%. Now the system should reboot by itself. There you go. Done. I'll just make another quick short video of the system update as well for you guys. Okay, so uh, that one is done. So the MCU, APK and MCU update and the Canvas update is completely done. And we just plug in the system update file. We just plug it into the USB port. That's done. And the unit will just show us the USB icon that's being plugged in. We just go to ES uh, File Explorer just to make sure that we've got the correct file inside the USB. We'll double check it. USB one. So you've got four files. Ignore the rest. System volume, blah, blah, blah. will always show that. One, two, three, four. So this correct one. We just go back, 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 back. Go settings. Scroll down, car setting. And we say system update tap that usb1 select it and here we go it's reading it this process will take quite some time um it can literally take up to about five six minutes and it will show you a progress bar after this thing is collecting data right now then it shows you a um, progress bar which is pretty quick that part and then the system will reboot by itself and that's it it's done Okay, so once that progress bar is finished, collects all the data and a new one will just pop up on the screen just like that. So it will just show us that uh, update, update start. So it will just um, go for a bit of time, about two, three minutes, and this progress bar will be just keep going up and up and each file will appear here, which one has been done. It could take another two, three minutes or so. So it just tells us that one of those files that I show you guys in the USB that there was four of them, one of them is done. That's the second one, second one is done too. That's the third one done and the fourth one, it's just update ended. I will, the system will just reboot by itself and uh, that's it, it's fully updated. After the update, um, just go to setting and make sure your sleeping mode is on two or three days, whichever you guys you prefer to put it on, but uh, preferably leave it on three days.
Okay, so we just got to settings. Scroll down. Settings, scroll all the way down. Car settings and sleep mode. It's on, normally it's on one day, so just leave it on three. And then that's it, you're set to go.